Hey, what's up, YouTube? A lot of people have been asking me how do you remove, well, completely remove a jailbreak from an iDevice. And uh, people also have been asking me, is it safe to jailbreak? Uh, should I jailbreak or could it break my phone? Uh, can the employees from the Apple Store know that I've previously jailbroken my phone? And uh, my answer to this is I've been jailbreaking uh, iDevices since 2007 with the first iPhone. At that time, we used to uh, jailbreak and unlock with a zip phone. And uh, I've never ever encountered any major problems or uh, bricked my phone. So, the like bricking, I brick is pretty much like a, a myth since it can't really happen. It's very tough to brick a phone. So, uh, I have my jailbroken 5.1.1 uh, iPod Touch 4G and I will completely remove the jailbreak from it right now and I'm going to show you how to do it. So uh, first of all let's skip to uh, to iTunes and as you can see here I'm syncing my other device and I have my iPod Touch here and what I want to do is sync it to my computer or I can select iCloud but I chosen to uh, back it up to my computer so I want to back up my um, my iPod Touch so I press sync and I select back up to this computer and now it says preparing to sync here so it's syncing my device, shouldn't be too long waiting for changes to be applied, so perfect now it's it has been synced and now it's backed up to my computer so what I want to do now is press on restore and I've pressed shift and clicked and selected the IPSW but if you click on restore it'll simply download the IPSW that you need so now I click on restore and it should start it should start extracting the software to uh, restore my iPod touch and I'm going to uh, fast forward this video to show you guys what happens here So perfect, I have my iPod Touch here that uh, just appeared on iTunes and now it's been restored and I can restore it from one of the backup that I had. So I can set it up, set it up as, new, as a new iPod if I want, but I want the old iPod back, the old information. So I just click on select restore from backup and I select the, the most recent one and then I press continue. Alright, perfect. So my iPod Touch is back to normal and it took me about 15 minutes and it should be exactly back to normal where it was minus the jailbreak. So that is how you remove a jailbreak from an iDevice and uh, you can do it on any device, any version, uh, whether you have some minor problem or major problem, you should always be uh, able to restore your iPod Touch or your iDevice um, with iTunes. So uh, I hope I've answered a couple of questions for everyone and uh, jailbreak is fun, uh, use it properly and I'm sure you won't have any problems. So thanks a lot, thanks a lot for listening guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe and to follow me on Twitter and or Facebook. Have a great day everyone, cheers.